2018 MotoGP X20 lap. Lights out in Malaysia, good start from the second row by Valentino. Up on the inside of the Renzo Mark Marquez has got the whole shot. He's come through from seventh to lead, but he's well, well wide. Now Joe Antarco leads. And the third row of the grid, I think he's got back into second place, hasn't he? Past Danny Petrota. Into turn number four for the first time. The Renzo runs a tight inside line. He's got up the inside of Mark Marquez. Lorenzo up in his... At the front, Lorenzo, Marquez, Petrota. And here is Andre de Vizioso, right behind him. Antarco through the first section. He's already 1.3 seconds clear. De Vizioso has found his way up on the inside of Danny Pedrova. This first lap picks up a few places. Sarko's lead though, nearly one and a half seconds. And they come towards turn nine. It's uphill hairpin. Confirmation. Kim wide again. He is. And he he through the spray. Yes. around the outside of him. Here he comes though, back up the inside on Dre De Vizioso. Which they now come down that back straight. Down towards yeah. turn against third. De Vizioso, Pedrosa. Rossi's had a knock on Iannone. Yeah, Rossi making no impression. He's still behind him and can't push him along. That give him a yellow lead and try and break away from him. At the moment, Mark Marquez Arco. There you go, 36 points would be the gap. And with 25 points up for grabs in Valencia, it doesn't take a lot of work in hand. this come from? He's now running in sixth place on the KTM in the way. Well, he's been super aggressive in a big freight train build. Even uh, Rossi to catch those men at the front in these conditions and be involved in such a pack. Uh, Rossi rather than Thomas Bargaro. Yeah. Rins back up the inside. Oscar running up turn nine, but where he does hold Darko leads. Lorenzo second. Market's coming under real pressure now from Andrea De Vizioso, who rode here quite slow because he's got nobody behind him trying to bring the fight to Marquez as well. He needs fights between himself and Mark Marquez. But Mark Marquez it will still be a material, it won't be enough for him. As De Vizioso finds where the inside of turn 14, brilliantly done then by. And he's wide, he's well, well wide. And Marquez will say thank you very much. Oh, oh they touched! They were so close, it's a long, long way to go. And then suddenly finds himself back where he was previously. He's working really hard now to get turn 15. De Vincioso's got time, that's the one thing on his side he in this race, he has got the time. Got up into sixth place, so Alex Reload back on track now. Many thanks Dylan. Always a fall of that, somebody's down, that looks like one of the Real de Vinci Ducatis, it may have tenth place. There he is, it's a shame, because Loris Bass, so we've seen in quick succession. The man at the back here, number 93, would be crowned the 2017 MotoGP World Champion. It might all, of course, all be immaterial. There you go. And finding a way through on them, that is not going to be an easy task because Zarco and Lorenzo at the front of this race so far have been absolutely... Mate Andre De Vizioso needs his help. Zarco then 1.1 seconds, he is still clear of Lorenzo. I mean, it could, it could happen. It, yeah. it could be a serious conundrum. We laugh about it now, but it could be... This is the start. What a start. Look at 93. There he comes from the third row of the group. Keep an eye out for Marquez. Like a but of course, he does get in there a bit hot. Lorenzo's get back up the inside. As does Zarco. Yeah, this was Joan Zarco who got a brilliant start. Lorenzo got away. Well, the so fluffed his start. And look at Mark Marquez. As well, this allowed Zarco to sweep up the inside of both the Spaniards. There he goes. Second. And Mark Marquez is really, really struggling. The Vizio so knows if he can get ahead of these two in front of him, the championship role. Zarco already suffering with that Michelin soft off. Yes, he is. Lorenzo then leads for the first time. Jorge Lorenzo leads the Malaysian Grand Prix here in Sepang. Jorge Lorenzo will be leading the Malaysian Grand Prix. Let Zarco is really struggling. The Vizio so to a turn number 14. Andre de Vizioso, championship contender, Andre de Vizioso in second place, Zarco third. All Mark Marquez can do at the moment is look at this pool. He's got to get past his teammate Jorge de Lorenzo to go. Find a way through with his teammate Jorge de Lorenzo, otherwise it's game over here. If this, this scenario occurring, they would not want it. There is Sam Lowe's there down at turn one. Well, I mean, the cat at the end of the day are damned if they do, they're rolling. But if they didn't, they're going to be so heavily criticised to say, well, why did he hold oh, right. that? The replay out of the seat in turn three. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there you go. And the other started higher up. Well, I think since we returned from the summer break in Bruno, more and more orders, as Rossi tries to find a way through the inside of Scott, running no way through. And every time Juan Lorenzo is like Vizioso in Valencia, if he indeed does need my help, well,
that third sector. What will the gap be when they go over the line? So good. Lorenzo is out wide. Joso will come on the line. Will he lead the Malaysian Grand Prix? A potential showdown between David Joso, Marquez and Valencia. Ahoy. Oh, 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 oh. Leading the way from Valentino Rossi. This is a race for sixth place. We're getting blitzed by air. Bradley Smith, Scott Redding, Hector Barber and Cal Crooks having a disappointing old ride. The final World Championship point. Good ride by David Joso and his sixth victory of the season. Try and engage, is he? He's not close enough anyway, he's 1.1 seconds back. Yeah, didn't he, up at turn 14, I'm sure that was enough for him to think. Just don't chuck away any points. To Mark Marquez, that could be, in the final outcome in two weeks' time in Valencia, the key moment, 75 finishes for the Factory Ducati team. He'd missed the top 10, but here he is one week later. On the Ducati. So far you've got to, but it does look like we are going to Valencia for a straight showdown between Andrea De Vincioso and this sixth win of the season, arguably one of the most important of his Grand Prix career. The championship then will be at Andrea De Vincioso wins his sixth Grand Prix victory of the season. Championship alive here in Valencia. Jorge Lorenzo takes second, comes home to a lonely fourth place. Pat on the tank, John done as far as he's got.